Okay, so in this video, we are going to continue our discussion on the concept of a variable. So let us just summarize very quickly what we discussed in our earlier video. We discussed that variable in general means something that can change and take different values. And when I say something, it is a number. Now, variable is a very important concept in algebra. In fact, the origins of algebra are based on the concept of variable. And in context of algebra, a variable means a number that can have different values. So the, the two things that are important is that what is a variable? It's nothing, a number. And a, it is a number that can have different values. In other words, what we can say is that it is a number which does not have a fixed value. It can take on different values. That is what we understand by variable. Now the question comes is how am I going to represent a variable? And we already did this in our example on coming up to the concept of a variable using matchstick patterns. So if I put this question to you, how do we represent a number that is not fixed? Well, we say that we can just take up one letter of the alphabet or any symbol okay and then we can say that this is a variable so you will find out that we use letters like lm and a b c d to represent variables so in our earlier example where we found out that the number of matchsticks required to form the number of l's was twice of n where n was the number of matchsticks and m no sorry yeah where n was the number of l's and m was the number of matchsticks that would be required. So in this case what we have done is we have used n and m letters to represent two variables. So having discussed that, I will give you an example by which you will be able to appreciate the difference between a variable and a fixed number. How do we differentiate them? So in order to do that we will take a simple example from geometry. Now what we have is we have a table here in which we have three columns and uh, uh, we are discussing about the various geometric shapes in the first column and what we are supposed to do is to find out the number of sides or recollect them from our memory and figure out whether these number of sides are they fixed for this figure or variable. So now let us start with this exercise. So first we have a triangle. How many number of sides in triangle? So there are three number of sides. Now, are the number of sides in a triangle variable or fixed? Means, can it have more than three number of sides or less than three? No. By definition, we know that a triangle has three sides. It means it is fixed. The number of sides, okay, in a triangle are fixed. If we take a square, the number of sides in a square is four. And you know that square will always have four sides so that is also fixed how about a quadrilateral yes a quadrilateral has four sides and they are fixed we don't we, we quad means four pentagon it has five number of sides and it is fixed pentagon means five sides hexagon hexagon has six sides and it is variable or fixed it is definitely a fixed one okay so now we come to polygon now polygon means, what is a polygon? What are the number of sides the polygon can have? Hmm, that is interesting because polygon is a bigger class or a general class of name that we give to lot of geometrical figures. So how many number of sides will a polygon have? Now it depends on the type of polygon that we are discussing. So a triangle, square, quadrilateral, pentagon and hexagon, these are all polygons because they have more than two or three sides right it's 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 yeah and they are closed figures that's what we know about polygons so now what can i say about the number of sides well i cannot say that i know the number of sides in a polygon till we discuss what is it what particular polygon we are talking of so i don't know it and since i don't know i'll just write a number n now this n represents the number of sides in a polygon and are these sides variable or fixed well, they are variable. Now let us try to 
understand this a uh, bit this variable so when I say that the number of sides in a polygon n are variable what do I mean by that so when I say that the polygon under consideration is a triangle the value of n becomes 3 as we saw here right triangle is a special type of polygon with three number of sides okay so this variable n will take a value 3 when the polygon that we are discussing is a triangle what happens when I say that pentagon okay pentagon the polygon that we are talking is a pentagon in that case n will take a value of 5 that is 5 sides so this is one of the examples which explain to you the difference between variable and fixed number so when we are considering a fixed number there is no ambiguity as to what the fixed number means it simply means that number has a fixed value without any doubt but when we go for a polygon it can take on different values as is shown here 